Good morning dear students today we will learn how to solve mission 6 pratishat practice sheet 1 of class 4th subject maths first of all we will fill the information given here like all to first name of school is there here you all will write government primary school full name of your school next is student's name here you will write your name like i am writing here gagandeep next is class here you all will write fourth next is roll number here you will write your class roll number being allotted to you by your class teacher like gagandeep's roll number is 9 next is date here you will write today's date like today's date is 1 february 2021 and i am writing here 1 february 2021 now start solving its sums our first question is which house number is the smallest four digit number here we have given four options in which houses are made and their numbers are being written on them let's see which house number is the smallest four digit number here you can see that we can put at least one bead in ones road means the smallest one digit number is 1 here you can see that there is a one bead in tens road and no bead in ones road means the smallest two digit number is 10 and here you can see one bead in hundreds road and no other bead in tens or ones road means the smallest three digit number is 100 and here you can see one bead in thousands road and and no other bead in hundred tens or ones road means the smallest four digit number is 1000 now let's see the given options In option A the house number is 9999 which is not correct house number in option B is 1000 which is the smallest four digit number so this is our correct option and we will put a tick on it the house number given in option C is 1009 which is not correct the house number given in option D is 1100 which is also not correct so our option b is correct our second question is expanded form of which number is shown below here you can see that which expanded form is given to us that is 5000 plus 300 plus 9 let's combine these cards and then we will see which number is formed from it let's combine it by holding it from its corner and as you can see we have combined it and the number which we got that is 5309 now let's see the given options the number given in option a is 5093 which is not correct the number given in option b is 5390 which is not correct the number given in option c is 5309 which is correct so we will put a tick on it the number given in option d is 5039 which is not correct so our option c is correct our third question is arman gave 500 rupees to shopkeeper to get change but the shopkeeper had only 100 rupees currency notes how many currency notes will he give to arman for this question we have four options dear students which note was given by arman to the shopkeeper look carefully that note was of 500 and the note which shopkeeper was having that was a 100 rupee note now let's see how many currency notes will the shopkeeper give to arman in change of 500 rupees so let's 
start counting hundred and hundred two hundred two hundred and hundred three hundred and hundred four hundred and hundred five hundred now let's count the number of notes start counting one two three four and five means the shopkeeper gi will give five notes of hundred rupee to arman in terms of a five hundred rupee note our option a is five notes which is correct and we will put a tick on it our option b is 10 notes which is not correct option c is four notes which is not correct and option d is eight notes this is also not correct now it is time for homework and from home you will solve question number one two and three in your notebooks